missing Shelby County woman is safe at home tonight after search crews enlisted the help of technology. The 47-year-old woman has schizophrenia and crews weren't having any luck, so they called in reinforcements. 24-Hour News 8's Brenna Donnelly is here now to explain how that move saved the day. Brenna. It's a story that could have ended in tragedy, but after two hours of searching, Shelby County Sheriff's deputies called in a heat-sensing drone from Johnson County. That drone found her in five minutes. It's just a fantastic feeling. Eric Funkhauser is the Training and Safety Division Chief at the Bargersville Community Fire Department. He woke up to a call at 4.45 this morning. Ends up having a 47-year-old female that had wandered away from home, and uh, they weren't able to locate her. They called in a drone after crews and canines had been searching for two hours. You know, went out in that general direction that they told us, and as we went out over that area, um, pretty quickly, probably within five minutes, we were able to pick up her heat signature. Funkhauser's drone served as a beacon, hovering 100 feet above the woman in a field. Here's an actual recording of the rescue. The woman in the center of the screen with emergency responders and an ambulance coming right to her location. I completely think that they're the future of the you know, emergency services. Yeah, if you're on one of these things where you're hip-hopping, Coincidentally, today is Unmanned Aircraft Systems, or UAS, training class for these Ripley County Sheriff's deputies with Rob Shelnut, an IMPD officer. They're pursuing uh, smartly uh, the use of uh, UAS. Uh, they're a smaller sheriff's department. UAS is a full uh, force multiplier. They're looking into it, and they're, uh, they're excited about the technology also. Ripley County and IMPD don't have their own drones yet, but they want to be prepared. Shelnut says only Bargersville, Indianapolis, and Wayne Township Fire Departments have them, but it's his dream to see them in departments across the state. I think it's going to be standard equipment. Just like when tasers were rolled in, uh, some folks were like, you know, what is a Star Trek or whatever. Um, and everybody understands the, the benefits of, of uh, tasers these days. Officer Shelnut told me he can see drones finding more missing people, but also going ahead of officers and canines to scout out dangerous situations. He also said he was encouraged by the news that the Shelby County woman was found safe and hopes to see faster rescues in the future. Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.